Hello, welcome guys, we're back and today we are doing some tutorials and while we're loading the flight plan and everything it's going to be right from the start in two seconds and while we share it and then we will go full screen and start our tutorial And that's going to be my own share. Just let me load up that flight plan and let's check out how we are departing and everything. This one looks good. Hey, Jagdeshwar, bye. What's up? Just give me two minutes, guys. Just filling in the flight plan. Polash, Fanny, thank you for the like, brother. Thank you so much. We are just getting started. I'm just filling up that flight plan in Simbrief in the background. If you want to see what I'm doing, and switch for that screen for you guys. There you go. I am just filling in the flight plan. How we are gonna land and everything. Oh, Mikey, full screen, please. Thank you, thank you for the. Thank you for the 50 stars, Mikey. That's so generous of you, brother. We are just getting our flight plan started. Our approach and everything, 19 hour. Bavad, yeah, we will be coming from Bavad rather than Titla. There you go. Our flight plan is almost done. Updating our flight plan. Thank you so much, Mikey. Really appreciate it. It's not a must. You don't need to do that, but thank you. I appreciate it. We are flying today the CRJ CJ4. Sorry, citation. I'm gonna be seeing. If you can pull up a few things with this aircraft. I think we are ready. Our flight plans are ready. And let's see where are we. We are at gateway gate 180 as you can see. Oh the lag and everything. This is new gateway airport and everything. Yeah. Bit of a lag so till we fly out of this airport we will be lowering our settings a bit. Not too much, just a bit. That's it. Nothing else. We will be lowering. Because that reduces the lag significantly. 
we should go to Russia. <laughs> I'm at work, so we'll pop back. No worries, no worries. Keep you doing your work and thank you for the 50 stars, Mikey. I really appreciate it. So starting off with this one. And let's get this thing started. For that, let's just close this window. Starting this plane, we are going to be doing the batteries first. There you go. The batteries are on. Avionics to dispatch. Fuel pump, everything. This everything will be done. We want to go with lights and everything on. This will be done on later. So, first of all, we start with batteries. Some batteries, some warnings pop up. But nothing to worry about. So, coming down to this panel. Now that we have gone away next to dispatch, first thing we want to do is tell the plane where we are at. Start. So, we go to pause in it. And you can provide the airport details here. For example, we are at Gatwick, and Gatwick is E G L L. Sorry. E G K K not E G L what am I saying? That's Heathrow. E G K K. I can tell them I'm here, but look at this. Took E. Not active. So rather than telling them this thing, uh, wait. Here this I can simply I can copy this one. Set pause to G N S S. Do scratch pad and. It will come up here. Oh, Desiree Samuel, thank you for the like, brother. Welcome to the stream. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. So, this will tell the plane where you are to start and everything. So, before setting up each and everything, it's going to be a long procedure. We need ground power. So for things you need to go IDX. Once you're in the IDX, go to the next page and then go to set box. Once you go to set box, just turn on ground power. Your Unix will be in metric. Metric is for UK and everything. If you want Imperials like LBs, pounds and everything, you can set them to Imperials here. But I'm setting them to metric because I need them in kgs and all. So we're good here and now you can see it says no flight plan because we haven't done any flight plans and everything's out here so it will say no flight plan so for this thing you have to go back to idx here you have to go back to the second page by pressing next and once in that you go to root bed so these are the two options. If you have SIM brief ID and everything and you have put it up here, it will simply pick up your SIM brief plan. And if you are planning via the Microsoft Flight Simulator menu, then your plan will pop up here in game menu. But since we have our plan in SIM brief, we will import it from here and let it load. We wait while the plan is being loaded. As you can see, this one is adding plans and everything. So now our flight plan has been loaded. It can say flight plan has been loaded. We need to press exit. But before pressing exit, you need to check if a flight plan is good and you have each and everything provided. For that only, you should press, press exit. So for checking that thing, we should go to the legs page. So here is the flight plan. And comparing that flight plan with your flight plan. So I'm going to compare that with my flight plan. And I can show you guys, but the window will be small. I hope you guys can see it. I can drag the window a bit. Okay. There you go. For the time being, let's drag it to this much. Yeah. For the time being, you can see. So this is the runway takeoff and everything. We will be at Farren. Here is Farren. May. Spear. 
Long war. Good. Going on to the next one. Daga. Lesba. Avo. Tess. Sa. Lepra. Ledbo. Inito. Backbo. Givebo. Broken. Venus. Larka. Inbob. Busom. Tenko. Lenti. SVA. Vavit. And then Ripam. Ripam is the actual star from where we will be proceeding next. But as you can see in this leg space, they haven't given us the departing seat and the arrival seat. But the other plan has been initiated, so we press exit to load in the flight plan. And now the flight plan has been loaded up here. So also we can do the lower menu. You see the row system. The row system just tells the plane where we are. Row system doesn't tell you the direction the plane has been heading. It just keeps the plane centered. So in order to go from row system to the actual pause system, EOSS, that is the plane planning systems, you got to use this knob. You can see lower menu. You press this knob. You come down. From the row system to PPOS, then press the inner one and it changes to this one. This is your present position. So now that you are here at your present position, you can check out. You're at the airport, and now we want to check the route. If there is some discontinuity, how will it take off each and everything? It's always not pressing north. It changes direction according to itself. So we go to the PDF advance. And these things pop up. These are your waypoints. You can go to the next waypoint or the waypoint which has been selected. So we keep on going to the next waypoints. But before that do, we have to select the plan, flight plan, not the present position, the flight plan. If you keep on present position, it will keep the plane centered and it will not move on. So we go to the flight plan. So this is the flight plan and now we keep on moving to the next view. There you go, runway, it will take off a train, train to spare, Agua, Daga, Gaspa, Pavo, Tetsa, Lapra, Ledbo, Anito, Pacmo, Givebo, Broken, Venice, and Legra, and Inbob, and you want, and then it will be landing upon Dripam. So, here you go, Dripam. That is the point from where we will plan up our approach. But you can see, close the screen. Which screen? Oh, that was, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So you can scroll between these plans by pressing the lower menu and then using this knob. Again, I am telling you this knob, this outer knob. You see this knob? This outer knob using your middle key. Thank you. Thank you, Jagdesh Urbai. That helps a lot. You can go to, it will be on row system by default. Row system always centers the plane, but doesn't give north up errors. You can go to the present position, PPOS. Hey, Chutte, what's up? Present position. It always shows where the plane is at. will keep you centered. Okay. Again, that was in the way. Now it will be okay. You can use this scroll button by pressing this lower menu. Rose position will be selected by default. You can go up and down by this outer wheel. By using your middle key, go to present position. It will show you where you are, but we are now checking flight plan. So we will go to the plan, press the middle key, and it will show you where you are and everything, which point you are at. Go to waypoint is your present position. You are right now. Yeah. But currently, we haven't added sits and stars to our waypoints and everything. So in order to you do that, what do we do? We go to the 
uh, let me just close this one now we don't need that one Sim toolkit pro you can be closed now yeah there you go now in order to configure our sits and our stars for more departure and arrival we go to the departure arrival page now here you will see couple of departures and the runways that you're going to take for our flight particularly today we will be taking 21l and it's the only runway available for us right now we press on 26l there you go selected by default green and now the star which star you want to take of course today's flight the star we are going to take is tige 3m so we go to next next tige 3m you see this one down here we press this now this is what has been scheduled for us now before executing this one we will again go to the legs page and check this one out execute now you see it was going to fly over there but it changed now so we are going to go against to pdf advance and check if our route has changed or not so you can see the route has changed going to the next waypoint it will go from here may there you go and there is one point that we don't want in this one we can lamp that is up here so we can simply select clear delete Select on lamp and then exit. So instead of lamp now, so instead of lamp now, it will go straight from Tiger to Frame. So we have to achieve, yeah, CJ4. Welcome, bunkers. It's CJ4. We are doing a planning on this one, the flight plan and everything. So now that we have configured the departure, we have to configure the arrival. And remember guys, you don't want to do this on the battery of the plane because it lasts only 10 to 15 minutes. So that's why we have an external power unit connected. So that we have configured the departure, we are going to configure the arrival. So for arrival, we know we are going to be arriving at 19R. So go to the next page. ILS 19R, right? ILS 19R, there it is. Selecting this one. And now there are a couple of stars and a couple of transitions. So getting on to the stars, which stars are we gonna take today and which arrivals are we gonna take today? Trans stars we are gonna take is Ripam, as you saw that earlier. So it's gonna be down here, REPF4M, Ripam. We're gonna select this one and now our star has been selected out of these two we are gonna select Bavat as our trans so that this has been selected we can go on and is execute this one so now going back again to the advance and checking these points spear tonga pav esta lepra lead bow Anito, Backmo, Givepo, Broken, Venus, Lagka, Inbob, Usom, Danko, Lanti, SVA. This is the way, this is not actually a waypoint, it's the airway. Vivit, Ripam. And now check this out. Do you see this? Between grip pump and we show you that again in bobusum nt as we have velvet and stuck between ripum and the next point in car the line is missing you can see there is no line so if i go to the actual flight plan that will be out in the legs page go to next there will be a discontinuity Let's check this out guys you see this in this continuity you can just click on in gag and then drop it here or you can simply do go to this clear and delete press it once 
and then just press on this to continuity and this app disappears now you have a dotted line because we haven't still executed that flight plan but you can this discontinuity doesn't disappear if there is a vector lag over this point if instead of ripum we had a vector lag and i was trying to delete that discontinuity it would not have been just deleted straight away so in that case i had to delete the vector first and then the discontinuity because vector is an airway for the air traffic controller and it's not picked by the plane so you had to do it that way now since it has done this way we have simply continued to with the flight plan we can press exit and now from ripum we can simply go on in gar you saw pm these are the stars as you can see it will be taking a good one good major coming in now again there is a discontinuity between pavad and o o d o d d see so now going again to the next page and taking that out so you see the discontinuity simply going to press clear delete and then select this one this is the left side keys and the right side keys about the plan times i haven't checked discontinuity is flat plans and discontinuities uh, you usually check it once you in, uh, do all the things in this it's a good practice actually if you're flying long now you can see dotted lines because we haven't ex executed this plan still but it says now that it has been cleared you can simply go from bavad to odd so we exit this one there it is coming back to this one next point in and then straight into runway 19r so now this thing is done what you want to do next is go to prefinit go to your prefinits so this one is not still available in the system for this we will be doing it here and checking out our fuel and our weight via scratch pad and for today's flight our payload that is our fuel weight and our fuel what is it going to be we will check out just in a second uh, our fuel is going to be kgs getting it there Our block fuel is going to be 7370 so our fuel is going to be sorry. wait What am I missing here? UK loss. Hello, brother. Hello. Okay, this is our fuel right now. And the payload for the payload, payload is going to be. Uh, just give me a second, guys. Just give me a second. Let me configure this thing once more. Just give me a second, guys. E G K K. That is Ketwick. To E G N M. Yes, that is E G. ENGM, sorry, ENGM. Here we go. 19R, we're going to take off from 26L. Changing the aircraft type and so. 
Here we go. Why this aircraft is coming in as this one? Hey Akash, what's up brother? Come in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. New aircraft. Okay, the airlines we and the eye. Thank you for the like bunkers from both the accounts. Airliner should be CJ4. Cessna citation. Yeah, there we go. Now it's okay. There we go. Now we have it in store. Oh. EGKK to NG M Oslo. There we go. Now it's it's a bit better. Executing that flight plan. Hello, brother. See your favorite. R nineteen R ILS nineteen R Bavage There you go was selected by now. Okay, our flight plan is ready, our sketchbook is ready and our fuel weight is Yeah, now we are good. Now our block fuel is 15.08. That's why I was like confused. What's our block fuel going to be? Our block fuel is 15.08. We don't need this much fuel. 1.508 is our block fuel for this flight. 1.508. 1.508. So we will finish something 1512. So this one is our block fuel for this one. And then our payload is going to be 17038. 7038. So increasing our payload 7038. 7038. So this is our payload. Yeah, 7038. So we are good. Now that this one is set, uh, this was our payload where we are going to set this payload. So this is set manually. ZF for this flight is going to be 5602. So you see, once 5602, once we're going to insert this one, this thing is going to disappear. Because this is already calculated by the plane, but since we inserted this one, that one is gonna disappear. But no worries about that. Now this is done. Flight level altitude is this one. If you want to change it, you can change it. Let's see how much are we gonna fly today. Man, 010. So 370 is good. So getting to takeoff now. So this is where it plays tricky on you. If you have things that you can do like weather and everything you can put these data scores leave that as it is 
Arnold, hello brother, Cody Dell. I don't know what you're saying, but uh, since we know this thing, we're gonna put this thing in. For us, the wind here is 300 at nine knots. And the temperature here is zero seven degrees. So this is gonna play a big factor for us. The QNH is 1023. 1023. So there you go. It shows you the pressure at altitude and everything minus 87 per feet. Now that this is done, we go to next page. Here the VR speeds have been calculated by the plane. V1 is gonna be 105, V2 106. Uh, we are 106 v 270 and 140 is going to be this thing. so you're going to press send to send it with the pft so now it has been sent to the pft moving on to the next page so your limits and everything your runway is should be should be at least this much so we think we have more than that so we're good on that so now that our flight plans and everything has been done Going on to the next step, we're going to start this aircraft. So now we're going to turn our avionics to on and you can see our speeds have appeared here. And now you see this unit, Pasco Hector, that is our altitudes and everything. So if you want to change this one, because currently this one is in Pasco Hectors and you want to change it to the American style. So what you're going to do is you're going to press the PDF menu. This thing appears. You're going to scroll down to configs. You see this one, this option here, config. Press the middle one. And you see Pasco Hectals. Just going to rotate the middle now once more. Now check this out. Compare Pasco Hectals to this one. So you can put your data in here also if you want. For us today, it's going to be 3021. So, or else you can keep it the same. So, let's put in for us. Uh, Barrow is 3021. This one is more accurate than that one. 3021, right? Yeah, 3021 so we are good on this one so you can simply press escape up here and there you go and now we are going to be going back to that present position one that tells you where you are in each and everything here also this thing has been done so instead of rows one we will be going to the present position one it will tell you you are here Gonna take off from here in each and everything. So now that our flight plans here are done, each and everything here are done, we are ready for starting everything. Oh, the lag! Please don't crash. I don't want that thing to be the last thing. After each and everything has been done. So now each and everything has been configured. You can see there is a checklist here. So now we close the low meter and we go to the checklist. This is the checklist, normal checklist. You can scroll using this menu each and everything. Getting on here, normal checklist before starting engine. Batteries on. I think we did it on in the start, so our batteries are on. This is good. Emergency switching lights. This is the emergency switching lights. These are armed now. So they are armed. You're good. Standby flight display. So standby flight display is this small knob. It's on now. Click on that one. Good. Avionics to dispatch. It was on dispatch, but since then we have done each and everything, and we are on the battery. We can get it to on. So click on that one. Parking brakes are set. Yes, so parking brakes are set right now. So we're good on that one. Wheel chocks removed. We assume that it's removed. So we're good on that. Cabin doors. Hello, cabin door. Are you locked? You see the cabin door is locked. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need our cabin doors to be open while we are doing each and everything like here or like back there because there is the thing now you can walk around this plane by getting up 
and then checking out your back cabin doors and everything here are a few doors here you can see this one you can open the store and each and everything so i think we're good with that one so we assume that the cabin doors have been secured by the cabin passengers briefing now this one is where you can play the external voices and everything you have or you can use the system you see this passenger briefing one is the takeoff long one and the short one so we are going to select the short one and let them do their thing That was a short one. So now that we are good, so we can suggest that the passenger briefings have been done. Seat bales and paddles and everything, those have been set. External lights, now we can give the external lights to the plane. So here is the light panel. We can turn on nav light, we can light, strobe lights will be turned on when we reach the runway. So we can see that this one is done. ECAS, we had done everything with the ECAS. So ECAS is all green. FMS, we have done the FMS speeds and everything, so this one is also good. Give this menu, yeah. Climate control is off, so for now, our climate control is off, so we don't need to worry about climate control. It will be turned on once we get there, so climate control is off. Completing normal checklist, so for us, the startup checklist is complete. Now, this one is starting engine. For starting engine, your throttles need to be idle. So let's check on our throttles. Here they are. The throttles are idle. We are good for starting engine with our throttles. Uh, okay. So now it says engine start push button. So you got to do it one by one because the batteries are really, really heavy on this one. So starting off, you see this right and left one. These are the engine starter buttons. So you're going to start up with the right one. Pressing on the right one. We got to wait. And let this N2 rise. You see, this N2 is rising. In real world, you gotta wait for it to reach a value, a certain value of 20. But here, you can start it as soon as this one starts to rise. You can see here, and one rising. So now that we have done this one, we can take it off, and then engine one stop switch. So for right one is gonna be this one. We open this small panel. And then click run so now our right engine will be spooling right here you can see left engine is still not spooling but the right engine has started to spool so we are good with the right engine Let me do the traffic diversity and everything. Let me just turn it off for a second. We don't need any else lights disturbing this right now. So you can see our engine has picked up everything and it's pulling and everything 24.9. So we are good. So this engine is good. ITTs we checked where ITTs are good with this one. ECAS has been checked already and then opposite engine. So now that we have started the right engine, we are going to repeat the same process for the left engine. So starting up with the engine starter, waiting for this rise and for the N1 to rise as we go the N1 and start it to rise. So as soon as the N1 starts to rise, we are going to open this lid and push the engine run. Now we can close this one. So now the opposite engine has also started to launch. Mm, there is a pushback. Stop pushback. We don't need pushback yet. We need a few more things to be dealt with. now that 
both the engines are good and running and external power needs to be disconnected now. so to disconnect the external power you go to the idx menu and then next and then you go to the power mod set here simply the ground power needs to go off so now the ground power has been disconnected so we're good on that one North legs and flight plans and each and everything North flight plans is good these are our waypoints in each and everything okay so external power has been disconnected now electricals those are behind this panel so we assume that they are good we check them off complete checklist now the checklist comes before taxi so before taxi checking on the avnx which is on for us that one is now on avnx switch climate control now needs to go to no so we take the climate control now to on and you can immediately hear the voice coming out of it now passengers light safety light button that one is the button light here safety and this announcement starts to run on so now it's the seatbelt security and everything done now passenger safety light button it's the button next to it So now this one is good now trims those are set flight controls this is the time you need to check your flight controls they're working good and everything yeah for us they're working good speed checks and everything in drone spider checks for us spiders are working good landing gear these are the spoilers they're working good check them out and flaps this is the time you set your flaps so I'm going to set my flaps to level 1. There you go. Our flaps are set now. Hydraulic pressure. We already set that. Engine anti-icing. If only required for now. We don't require that one. So it's good. Takeoff data has been confirmed. Avionics has been set to on autopilot. You, you want to check it or disconnect it? But I think it's working fine. So this one is autopilot. We are good with that. You can check it. Altimeter has been set. Pressure has been verified and set. EKS is good. All green. And doors and divider doors are all latched. So this one is complete. The next one is taxi. For taxi, lights as required. So for taxi. Once we get our pushback done, we're going to do this list. So for now, let's get our pushback. That is a long procedure, guys. If you want to start a CHFO. It's a beautiful aircraft, but it takes a lot of time to start. CJ4 is not an easy plane, guys. Okay, now our pushback has been connected to the plane, as you can see. So, releasing parking brakes and reversing that. Some of the strangest camera angles in this one.
we got to back up all the way to that yellow line mad little plane that it's it's such a powerful plane man hey roland welcome i will show you how quickly it takes off from a short 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 take off it really really is powerful for a take off you just got to put it in there and whoop it goes Now that this pushback is not helping me along, I got to do it myself. We got to be holding short of 26L. We got to take off from 26L. So now our pushback is done and now that we have got the taxi clearance and uh, we can move on to the next one. So it says taxi lights, external lights are required so we will turn on our taxi lights here and our logo lights. There we go. So our taxi lights and logo lights are done. Parking brakes have been set. Brakes have been applied. Brakes check, nose mid steerings, everything is good. Right instruments, each and everything is working. Completing this thing. So now we're gonna taxi and check this list after we reach our one. So we're going to taxi. For the lag that is still a lag, lag that is in here. I don't know why it's so much lag in here. Maybe there was traffic in here. But then again, what can we do? So now we are taxing towards one way 26L. It's going to be that way. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's going to be over towards our left side. There are a few switches that need to be turned on. You see this. We thought static heat. That thing only needs to be turned on when you are just about to take off. Or else they could fry the engine. No plane on our left side. No plane on our right side. So we could. Look at the lag I'm facing right now, guys. Gatwick is really heavy, guys. Flying out to Gatwick to care about these things. So now, here yeah, we are going to be on an active runway. So before we do that, we need to turn on our strobes. So, strobes go on because we are going to pass an active runway. Because we have to pass the sector runway, so our strobes need to come on. across this runway
This is the runway 26 part that we are crossing right now. My dad just made a hot cup of tea for me. Thank you for them. Really cold here. Okay, now we exit this runway and we'll short of runway 26L. Right about here. Yeah. Okay. So setting parking brakes. We have received clearance. So now that we are ready to take off our taxi light should come off and our landing lights should come on ice protection as required rudder bases turn seat belts signs are up the flaps are set speed brakes have been off now on now zero percent trims have been set and cabin debriefing for takeoff and everything has been done so we're good with it done and then TKS has been checked, radars have been checked. Uh, now this one, GA button. You see this one? This one is right here. This is the button. Press it, it goes to take off. That now you are gonna be taking off so, so it's done. Battery amps look good. Nice as required. P2 hit switches, now we turn them on. Because we are ready to take off. So this is good. External lights as required. EKS good. All green. W. Portals. Now this is the takeoff. For takeoff, we are gonna check this list just now. Because while we're taking off, there will be quite few things going on and we don't want to put up these checklists now. The throttles will be set. N ones will be released, parking brakes will be released, and we will rotate it via So this is after takeoff. While we are climbing, we can do that while we take off. So turning on our flight directors and on nefs, we can just take off nefs now. Once we take off, we can do that. So we are good to go. Let's take off, guys. I hope I have not missed anything in here. And if you guys have any question, just put it in the chat guys i will try to answer those or if you're watching it later just comment it below i will try to answer your question guys so let's line up with this runway there you go cloudy head so now lining up with this runway Given us clear and take off to go from 26. So that we are good. So this is the thing with this plane. Short takeoff, you gotta put the nose down because this one is too powerful. So now I'm gonna give 40% throttle. It's spoiling up. Right, 40% throttle spoiling up. Full throttle. Resilacing brakes. Speed's active. Crossing 80 knots. Crossing 100 knots. V1. Rotate. Oh. It really did towards the left side, but we are good. Positive climb, gears up. We are already hitting 190, so keeping our altitudes a bit low. Landing gear. Landing gear. No worries about that. Our initial height will be 5000. 
so we are looking good by that we are climbing to 700 right now it was a good climb coming to the first point we will be turning left here shortly yep going left Such a powerful plane, guys. Speed is around 252, 150, 160. As we are taking this turn now. So now we can go to autopilot and turn on our navigation systems and yaw so on and our flight directors need to be on so now it will pick that one up so now we can pick up our checklist landing up flaps up to level zero so our flaps are up throttles on climb yawn dampers on Autopilot as required. I see everything and landing light buttons can now come up. So this one can go off now. As you can see, the speed is high. It's because our speed has not been set still, but we will set it soon. Just a second. For now, our speed will be 150. We have set our speed at 150 right now. Okay, we have decreased our speed. It will be normal in a second now. And we need to climb now. Altitude. Speed will go normal in a second and we will be climbing 5000 soon. Now we are climbing guys. And speed will go on 50 soon. This plane is crazy guys. Crazy little plane, super fast, and what can I say? So now we are climbing to 5000. Our speed is at 250. This was 3000. We are just heading to point May and now that we are cruising, throttles, pressure check, everything checked. So this cruise checklist is complete. So once we are going to descend, we are going to check this checklist again. But for now, checklist menu can go drop down and we check out our engines and everything and continue climbing we are at 4000 right now still climbing altitude hmm. 
Mornings, Vidhi. Really. Mornings, brother. How are you? Welcome to the stream. We just took off from Gatwick Airport back there, guys. And now we are heading to Oslo. Yeah, our legs and each and everything. So we are good. We are heading to Oslo, guys. So guys, if you are here for the first time, please do like and follow. We keep doing such tutorials on each and everything. We are now at 5000 and our speed is going a bit high now. Got to check why is that happening. As you can see, our speed is still climbing, climbing. Why is that happening? Our speed should not be climbing. Are you sick? Yes, really, I'm sick. You just said from a photograph. We and the non -Fs. Yeah, overspeeding. I'm checking that. What is it overspeeding? Still, it will overspeed. Verticals and 11 Fs. That is good now. I think it should not overspeed now, but I can't promise anything because it's just reaching near the limits. See? Okay, now seems good. It will lower down its speed soon. Don't know why it's overspeeding too much. Now it's going to 70. This plane is powerful and it keeps on overspeeding. Nobody, you're whispering. Let me check. So now we can climb to a cruising altitude, I think. Going to thirty one thousand now. Now FLC space can increase. Have hey, we set your altitude? I had set my altitude at 5000. It was at 5000 for the cruise because it's a VNAP, but uh, the speeds were not stopping. I don't know why the speeds were not stopping. Yes, I was doing the FLC one, but now it looks good, and now we are climbing to 31,000 feet. The only thing I have problem with on this plane is mm, the range on this map. I can't get it to zoom out. Can do you know how to zoom out? Yeah, the range doesn't zoom out. I don't know why this keeps on happening, but it's still there. London is cloudy. Oh, we can see a rainbow on our outside.
Well, let me check it out. You see this left panel, I tried looking at that. This zoom and this one do nothing. And these are uh, the traffic and everything, weather on. And this is the traffic below and above if there is some traffic. No, up on the top. Uh, you mean here? But still, there is no range one here. Uh, I think this one will be the range. Uh, there it is, zoom. Yeah, I think this one is the range. Let me check it out. Just give me a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did zoom out a bit. But yeah. yeah, yeah, it's working now. It's working now. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. Thanks, buddy. Got it. Yeah, yeah. This one it is. Thank you. As always, cool. <laughs> thank you, buddy. That was a confusing thing for me, but thank you. It got me there. You got me back. I really appreciate it. So that we have crossed uh, almost 9000 now, we can go borrow. There you go. You are most welcome, Willie. Come to India and I can treat you with many of those. Willie, you are most welcome to India, brother. Come on and enjoy the hospitality whenever you want. My doors are always open for you. Okay. I haven't connected this one, I think, still for today's fact. Let me reconnect this one. Yeah, now it's connected. We will check out where we are. Thank you so much. You're from Scotland, that's an amazing place, buddy. Although I'm in Canada, I'm from Canada or no, that, That's why you were talking about the food. You know the specialties and everything. But most welcome, brother. So now we are we. Let's check it out. We just passed. We took off from here, we were all the way here, now we are on South End. From South End we will be going all the way up there, crossing in here. Mm, Typhoon Carl in the chat, he is also from India, a very good buddy of mine. Yeah, his suggestions are good on these things. Okay then, we are gonna climb using the vertical ones. So there you go. Mm, let's climb at 1000 feet per minute. Our speed is... gonna be 290.
that's a nice map. where did you get the uh bro it's a free map you can download it from uh flightsim.to it goes by the name of uh, K uh, F skim F skim map uh i can give you a link if you want i think i downloaded it from a second side just give me a second Okay, you are a streamer too. You can uh, wait. The nightboard will not allow it. Let me do one thing. Just a second. Mm, nightboard, nightboard, please. Protections. As we keep on climbing to new heights here, we're climbing 31,000 feet. And let me center this one. Mm -hmm. uh, do one thing join my Discord, and uh, it's uh, the link will be in the description section. And uh, in Discord, there will be let me see in which section i can put it for you i will upload it there really i don't know bro i must have uh, i don't know about that other that's that's a very big thing for me I must have heard your name somewhere across. Okay, where is that links visible? So now you can spam links. No, no. Actually, let's keep the links on. I must have heard your name somewhere, but I'm not quite sure. Oh my god, you do broadcasts for the Sky Blue Radio. That's awesome, mate. Okay, you host pilots and everything for the sim channels and everything. That's great, dude. That's great. Man, that is awesome. Welcome, buddy. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> All I can say. That is great. That's really cool. Ah, I don't know whether I don't know. This Sunday, 4 p uh, 2 p.m. your time. Every Sunday at 1 p.m. on house. We can give it a try. Why not? Sure. Yeah, that can work. We can give it a try. 12 p.m. your time. I've got your email also here. I will get in touch with you once I end my stream, brother. I can surely do that. Okay, okay. No worries, no worries. I will surely get in touch with brother. You can join through Discord. Oh, surely, buddy. I will join the Discord as soon as I end my stream. And then we can get in touch.
Let's see work something out. Thank you, thank you so much for coming in the stream, buddy. I really appreciate that. Absolutely. Uh, I just saw your email on that channel. Absolutely. It's uh, Willie. Chuck. Can can nook at the rate of skyblueradios.com. You are sure, buddy? I will keep that in mind. Once I end my stream, I will mail you and see if we can go from there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your kind words, buddy. That means a lot. Oh, we have configured some some of these. Look at that. I almost forgot. I had some wing views for this one. Wow. I had configured that before. That looks good. I should have used them while I was taking off. Yes, we are climbing. Almost 20,000 feet now at Lepra. But thank you so much, brother. Yeah, EasyJet is the way to go if you're flying in UK, man. It's the way to go. So now we will be crossing over as we leave Essex. We will be crossing over this stretch of ocean all the way crossing Denmark and then we'll be landing here in Oslo. It will take us time, about two to three hours to reach there, but we are good on that. We cross 20,000 feet now. We don't have too much wind in here today, which is a good thing. Well, thank you, brother. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Good people are really hard to find, you know. And you coming in my channel, just like that. like a blessing your plane was going a bit crazy here I'm doing things of its own but now we are good on track we will respect our speed hello brother hello welcome to the stream sorry I can't pronounce your name in some foreign language to me but you are welcome brother I will reduce the height to 25,000. 25 seems okay because it's windy up here. So guys, we are flying from Gatwick to Oslo. We are going to reach our max altitude pretty soon. Of 25,000 feet. The speeds are currently at 380, 390. 
We are flying today in this beautiful livery of EasyJet.com. Talking to a drunk Scotsman. <laughs> Not that is a foreign language. <laughs> That can be, that can be. <laughs> you are in Scotland nowadays, right? That's amazing. Man. That's one of the most beautiful parts I've seen of the world. The culture, the diversity and each and everything. And even the dress up. So colorful. Southern Scotland, okay. Bunkers was in altitude. the stream earlier. Hello? Yeah, okay, altitude. We are holding on this altitude, so it gave a warning of altitude. Because we will be holding at 27. And uh, look at uh, the trim elevation that's getting almost in the green. That's the thing we need in green. Belts and safeties can come off. Yeah, everything else can stay off. Well, passengers back there are enjoying themselves, I think. The views are fantastic. Who doesn't love a good view? So now that we are level, let's pick up a bit of a speed. Let's go to like Our speed looks good now. As we cross, few clouds coming up. Yeah, let's see how far are we? There you go, crossing these points. We took off from Sophie here. We are going somewhere here. So we are still pretty far. Long way to go. It's 
speeds are all as displayed. I don't know how to speed up, like it just keeps on disappearing. Fourteen. We are climbing. It could be a 25,000 going at 240, 250, 210, 220. We want to increase our speed and it keeps on decreasing. Hey, Gene Perry, thank you for the like. Welcome to the stream. So guys, we are live right now on YouTube as well as Facebook. On YouTube, we are getting close to like 150 subs right now. A few away. And we are live on Facebook as well. And on Facebook, we are only 14 to 15 away from reaching 1K subs. So thank you for the enormous support, guys. As we fly towards Oslo, trying to keep our speeds high. Do you know why speeds are getting back down again and again? It says altitude caps should not be saying that. No, I remove this. Keeps on saying altitude caps, altitude caps. Let's increase the speed. Put that there and then no altitude caps.
190 for this one, I think. Let's keep it at 190. If it keeps at 190, it's really good. Yeah, it's cruising. across the squared oceans let me see what distance or anything on this one we have to check out okay this is the idx the general position yeah, program there you go 560 more to go but at least we will able to see our distance if i'll see it doesn't work until you increase or decrease the altitude setting so actually i wanted to see how to hold my speed at 290 then again it keeps on decreasing don't know why Altitude has been held at 25, but the speed keeps on getting night. It's not a climb. Look, if I keep it on climb, it will keep on decreasing. See, so I have to push my N1 a bit high in order for the speed to be constant. Something wrong with that, let's see. I kept an FLC, I increased the speed and it says altitude caps here. Think it's hot. See, altitude caps. Right now it's crossing 280. The radar system on this one is so beautiful man. The best radar system is on this one. CRJ I think. So CRJ and uh, dash no, 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 on that uh, Dreamliner, I think. I don't even fly this very often, but I thought I flew it past uh, two to three months ago, and then the working title was out on even then. I thought, let's do it. Tutorials. I know startup and everything from start and everything, but this speed holding thing is really annoying me. Okay, now it's good. It's steady at 290. So that is the speed I want. 290. Okay. So just yeah. We are good. So now this speed is good. 290. It's a cruising speed for an A320. So this is good. 290 works for me. As we are about to reach Rokan. Right? Rokan. Yeah, we are about to reach Rokan. Yeah. 
and then it would be this and Bob. We are getting close. Not too close to, but still close. There is still a long distance to go. Hey, Baker, what's up? Guys, another very good streamer in the chat in YouTube, Baker's Baker Gaming Gamer. He also flies Microsoft Flight Simulator, so go check out his stream too, Baker Games. He usually flies the 747 Dreamliner, if I'm not wrong. That is a fantastic plane. Well, buddy, I'm good. Thank you for dropping in. We are currently flying towards Oslo. We started from Gatwick. Yes, and do check out Willie's stream too. I have to check on Willie's channel. Willie, what's your channel? You can post your link in the chat. Let me give you the permission because I have to turn off those spams. 787, yeah, that's the one. 787 guys awesome guy awesome plane so you can post your channel link now the bot will not ban you because i turned it off the flight is going pretty pretty good uh, let me do this thing if i turn my PL and everything i turned it off for a while because there was too much traffic back at gatwick and i couldn't handle that traffic as now we are flying let's see where are we right now actually Okay, we are halfway? No, less than halfway, I can say. You can see we just left Netherlands and we are heading towards Denmark. We will be landing here at Oslo. Oslo, Norway. Beautiful place, man. Tell you the radar system on this thing is amazing, man. This chat is still on YouTube, so really appreciate it. So okay, no worries, brother. It takes time, it will grow. People will come to know that you're on YouTube as well. Just put a link in the chat and I will pin it so people keep on coming on my stream they will eventually check out your channel too so just go and put on your link there I will pin it too. Give me a few minutes guys, I will be back from the loo. Sorry, uh, ETA time is like uh, one hour, three minutes. I was gonna go, but then I saw a comment pop up in my Facebook chat from Bunkers, and he says he got the init built A300 and the classic 737. Whoa, man, you are gonna have some fun tonight. 
<laughs> oh, I'm jealous now. Bankers, <laughs> don't do that. Man, he's gonna have some fun tonight on his stream. My ETA time will be around one hour now. Lucky guy. Lucky, lucky guy. There are no plans around this fight. Good. You know what, Bunkers? Bigger planes have their own gameplay and everything and satisfaction, but then again, small planes are also so satisfying. I didn't leave Floss planes, but then when I got hooked up to the Kodiak and then the Bonanza. Man, those planes are so good. Then you get the TBM, then you get a Cessna. Small planes are so, so much pleasing. You love the small things, turning on those small knobs and each and everything. Small planes are amazing. 486 nautical must go, guys. Small planes are amazing, guys. Okay, give me five minutes, I'll be back from the loop. I know Bunkers, it doesn't have the CRJ, but then again, X-Plane has some other planes that are lacking right now in Microsoft Simulator. You get them with the basic version, like the Dreamliner, the 737, and all those planes. So you have to sacrifice something in order to get something. And then again, I just remembered Mikey and Tyler told me they wanted the F-16 so I gotta post a link for them in the discord from where they can download it apparently I have some good friends man they keep on giving me those 
good little things like the F-16, the F-15s. Uh, let me check, let me check, where is that? That's why I thought about the MD-800 in XP, it will not. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's good, that's good. Ah, no worries, you can get it later. It's not a must right now. Ooh, he really did sign me a beautiful one too. Ah, that is beautiful. Twin auto, okay. F35. Where is that file? Let me check it out. Let me check it out. Kodiak. Yeah, here it is. F16. So. Is this still working? Yeah, it's still working. So let me copy this link. Copy and post it in Discord. Because if you want that, you can download that too. I don't see the point of having the CRJ. In. No, if you have it in one, then it's okay. You don't need it in both. The channels in both the games you can fly it in the other game if you want it's all about what you love and not but i think if you have it in one there's no point of getting it in the other game it's fair and the rate of is livery and resources okay i will put it in liveries and resources because if you want you can get it from there for yourself i will tag you as well Bunkers, uh, Falco, and then China. Okay, I tagged you, and I posted that one in Discord. I also did get a Sindri mode for New Delhi. I have to try that out. I already had the Mumbai one. Now I got New Delhi. So I got my hometown filled. India is coming alive. So we are presently 431 nautical miles away. As we cross over. Denmark You're looking cool.
and talking of CRJ bunkers, one more player I want to fly soon is the ATR 72 800. Another beautiful aircraft. I have it in my store and I'm gonna fly it soon. I love that plane too, guys. Whoa, that plane looks so beautiful. As you fly over the waterways of England, English Channel. Lazy Hedge just respawned on our left side. Which plane is he in? He is in a diamond. There is a rainbow beneath us, right? Any other plane? Yeah, there is someone in a B-784 down there. Usually this thing gets shifted on its own. It was in NAF, now it's FMS. You see on expedite, there is no expedite button in this one, right? So we have to lose height gradually. So this is the 100 meter, you see. Uh, lesser there. If I go to 150, still don't see. Then 300, just about 300 there. So 398 are left. Just crossed Inbob, and we are now heading towards Busum. Sorry guys, I don't play the music during the streams because uh, I'm streaming on two platforms and I usually get copyright even on purchase license music. I don't know why, it has happened multiple times. I don't know the solution to that. If any one of you knows the solution to that, how can I stream both on YouTube and Facebook together and not get a copyright while playing music, please, please, please do comment below. Uh, it will be really helpful, but right now I am getting copyrights if I stream music. I don't get it on one channel, but then again I get it on the second one. If I don't get it on Facebook, I get it on YouTube. If I don't get it on YouTube, I get it on Facebook. And I have to really, really delete like half of my videos because of that. My watch time is getting deleted and each and everything. I don't care about the watch time anymore. But then again, all the content I put up there is getting deleted. I love to see back my contents and I am not a good person. The sky is looking good. I try to keep the clouds on Ultra. Hello brother, sorry I can't pronounce your name because it's in some foreign language to me but you are welcome on the stream brother. Hello, hello Anna. Yeah, because I try to keep only a few things on Ultra. My clouds are always on Ultra because clouds are one of the best things in this game. So I keep clouds always on Ultra. 
then you just reminded me of something else i have to put this on very high ta is i sorry <laughs> sorry now that thing also will look good always keep clouds on uh, ultra else you can compromise with a few things here and there but clouds are way more beautiful if they are on ultra Okay, Busan, Busan has been crossed. 372 nautical miles to go. Welcome in guys. Whoever is new, please don't forget to like. Share. Follow on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. And I want to thank uh, KK if you're still in the chat on YouTube. Thank you for the subscribe. We managed to reach uh, 150 subscribers on YouTube, guys. That's a big achievement for me. Lately, you guys have been so much supportive towards me. I don't know how to thank you guys, really. The love, the support I got is just amazing. So again guys one of the best radar systems on this cj4 citation you can see it's always revolving this radar system always checking for possible planes inside there and also it's one of the best radar system guys look at this traffic always checking for traffic up over and below Yeah, checking out how much time. Put 
go. CPP menu is not working. Okay. Currently 337 nautical miles away now. Let's see how far are we from the land. We are crossing Denmark on our right side. Yes. Denmark on our right side guys now. This is inside the plane like. Yeah, we are enjoying. The sensors are enjoying inside the plane guys. This is cross Denmark on our right side. Yes, because it was a long flight, but uh, it will take like another one hour, I think. How much is it showing? It's showing 35 minutes, but it will take around 40 to 50 minutes. Because once we start our descent, time will go up because our speeds will go down. We are currently 340 nautical miles away. We are crossing Denmark here, you can see. And Oslo is right there. But we had to go like this and then come around here to land. The airport is right at the edge here somewhere. Right here somewhere. Let's see if we can spot the airport. I'm now fully vaccinated. Congratulations, Shashank. That's a good one. Oh my god, Sally Shields in here. Oh my god, yeah guys, how are you? Hello, boy, we're from, bro, I'm from India. Hey, thank you so much, Sydney guys, Sydney Red coming in. Thank you so much, Sydney, for the raid. As always, it's, it's much, much, much appreciated. Hey, welcome to, welcome, Simon Jackson, Mike, Mitch, what's up, buddy? Mike, thank you for the like, Mitch, thank you for the like. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys. I uh, really appreciate the raid, Sydney. Tony, as always, doing EN. Welcome. Adam, welcome. Hey, hey Reaper! Reaper in the house. Hey, Maka. What's up, brother? Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. I really appreciate the raid. Tony, as always. Hope you had a wonderful time. You had a wonderful stream. Thank you for the like, Ian, Adam, Maka, Mike. Thank you so much, guys. If I missed any of your names, I'm so sorry, extremely sorry for that. 
but thank you so much thank you so much guys and thank you tony hey my god thank you for the stars <laughs> reaper out of prison <laughs> hey thank you for the stars and hey, there he is there he is flying fly straight buddy hey i am flying straight i am flying in a <laughs> there you see what i'm flying it <laughs> thank you guys thank you so much guys thank you so much tony thank you for the raid i really really appreciate it guys should i subscribe sleepy one it's up to you brother just give me a second sleepy i will be back to you hey same pilot thank you so much for coming in and maka thank you for the 66 stars i really forgot that thank you so much we are flying into Oslo. We will be landing in like another 20 to 30 minutes. I'm supposed to say anything now. Hey, do it, do it. <laughs> you can say anything. I'm not an experimental version, Jack. There are no dices on my channel. Thank you, Jack. Thank you as always. And thank you, Tony, for the raid. And welcome to all the people out here. Chris, thank you. Welcome in. Oh, my God. Hey, you didn't have to do that, Tony. The raid was the love, brother. Tishang, Facebook, Kabi, Nihaspe. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tony. I really appreciate it. And bam, I don't have the notifications like you, but thank you so much, Tony. Uh, I don't know what to say. You always come here and do this. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me check how far was I from that one. I am on like uh, 980 followers, I think 20 short of that thing, something, but thank you so much, Tony. Thank you, Reaper. It's all because of you. No, 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 Sydney. You guys, you guys are the guys that have helped me so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tony. I don't know what to say. We got 20 reactions in here. Have a good stream, my friend. Thank you, Tony. I was doing the tutorial on this one today. It's my, I think, second time flying the DJ4 Citation. It's a beautiful plane, as you can see. And we just crossed Denmark, I think. Just there. Thank you, Sally. Thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate it. We did cross Denmark just now, as you can see. And now we are heading to Oslo. It's not far. It's around 274 nautical miles now. <laughs> hey, bunkers. Thank you, mate. The force is strong in this one. It is, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Vankers, for the 250 stars, brother. We are going to start our descent soon, I think. We're not too high. Let's see if we can. I am fully vaccinated since this month. So, nice one, Sleepy. We are like uh, 270 nautical miles away. And I'm scared to land in this house now. It's my first time. Nasir, Hassan, thank you for the like. Ishan, thank you for the like, brother. Thank you so much, guys, for coming in, for the likes and each and everything. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you so much, Tony, for the raid. As always, it's so, so helpful, man. You guys are really the backbone of this community. You, Jack, and all. So supportive and all. Thank you so much, brother. By the way, how's the livery on this one? Easy jet livery. It doesn't look beautiful. I wanted to pick another one 
from the working title but then i picked this one looks beautiful na orange and yellow sleepy one bro it's up to you if you want to subscribe if you like the content and each and everything i don't force anyone to subscribe or follow if you like the content they do else you can enjoy sit relax and watch so guys we are live on facebook as well as youtube right now so let's go land this baby safely in a what 250 right now 250 nautical miles away and sweet hey let's check out our descent point when do we start to descend okay it should be i at ripum so we have a few distance to go ripum is like more than 70 i think yeah more than 70 away so we are good we still have a long way to go also should be like there somewhere we getting there and thank you bankers and tony once again for the stars man thank you guys i really appreciate it uh mike thank you for the follow and uh, yeah and maka thank you for the stars thank you boys thank you so much really showing that love coming in here with all those likes also thank you so much brother how long left in the flight okay uh, tony let me check it will take approximately 25 to 30 minutes for me to land hey mike what's up welcome in buddy 25 to 30 minutes for me to land yeah thank you bankers as always Okay, I will call you on Discord when I'm done. Uh, <laughs> nothing much. Sure, 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 Mike. I will call you once I'm done with this stream. I will remember this time for sure. I will call you once I'm done. Okay. So we are just about to reach the point S V A. You see, here we are S V A. and let me show you how far we are so then after as we we go to wevit wevit is like uh, 55 nautical miles away and once we reach wevit then ripum on ripum we will start our descent so we are getting close there we are flying at 300 nautical miles so we are crazy fast does it look like so but we are crazy fast it's a small jet but it's a powerful one right so the land stand starts just here we are about to leave reach the coastline here of norway norway is always cold right hey mikey thank you so much let me pin your comment in here brother Thank you so much. No, actually, I think Sydney's comment has been pinned, so let's keep it that way. But thank you so much, Mikey. First hour approach about forty minutes to the tarmac. Yeah, seems like so about forty minutes to the tarmac. I hope I can land this baby in one piece. Nothing more than that. विशाल कैसा तो होगा ही यार चिट्ठी के साथ अपडेट्स तो खुले मिलेंगे इससे बट नेवर देन इट्स ऑल कवर इज स्नो गाइस ओके सो वी चेंज टू वेव इट वी विल बी टर्निंग ए बिट राइट हेयर एज यू कैन सी द एयरक्राफ्ट इट स्टार्टेड दिस टर्न नाउ 
bro. One of the most beautiful approaches here in Oslo. And especially if you are flying at night time, it's such a beautiful approach. So it's snowy at this time of the year and then sometimes there is snowfall and everything and it's really difficult the visibility is really less but then you enjoy the lights and each and everything there is a termite below us too Chevik right at the shoreline what a beautiful one right and a river coming out from there We can have a street view of this one also. Let's see. Yeah, it was Christian Sand. Wow. The airport is right there, Christian Sand. Chavik Airport. Uh, nice one, right? So then, guys, we are heading towards our diesel point now. But this point is like 84 nautical miles away. Getting to terrain once more. There we go. We flew all the way from Gateway guys today. We took off from Gateway airport and now we are about to reach Norway Oslo. will be like somewhere there right there that is where we are going to land right there between the clouds hope we can land safely so that we end this tutorial properly everything is running smooth in here So now that we are on a way to land, let's go to oh, positions are this much. And preparations for our approach and landing. So this is the runway, do we have some wind in here and everything, let's put in the data and everything. It's gonna be 180 by, wait, 180 by 11 knots, so we have an 11 knot winds coming from 180 degree. And the temperature is minus 3 degrees, so it's cold out there, guys. And our QNH is 1000. So there you go, the pressure altitude. Just counted that. We look good. We look good to land, guys. Webit checkpoint is just coming up right here. We are about to reach Webit. We zoom out a bit. There you go. We are just about to reach Webit. Those of you who don't know, this plane has one of the best radar systems in the world. The CJ4 citation and does anyone in the chat know which second plane has the same radar and this one? There are only two planes whose radars are one of the best radar systems in the world. One of them is this one. Can you name the second plane? It's also a commercial airline. Neelam Mahajan, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for following Nikhil and Neelamji. So, 
best radar system in, on the citation and the second player is it's a Boeing 707 so these two planes have the best radar system can you please fly Pakistan International Airlines 777 200 uh, I can surely do that brother but not right now I can do that tomorrow I can write it down for you and we can do that tomorrow but 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 on one condition you will come to the chat tomorrow I don't ask you to like and subscribe just be the chat tomorrow so that you can see me flying that thing so we can do that tomorrow if you are coming tomorrow to the chat to say hi hello we will find a proper livery and we will be flying that we will do that surely so if you agree that you will be here in the chat tomorrow then no problem i can do that oh the wind is like 45 right now Mm. it's windy that's why the plane is going up and up um, bro I usually start at uh, if you're from Pakistan so it means you are half hour behind my uh, behind my time I start at uh, 2 o'clock so for you it will be 1.30 in the afternoon that's the time I usually start One thirty in the afternoon. Yes, one thirty p.m. Brother, दिन में करता हूँ one thirty के करीब शुरू. बिल्कुल. रात में तो कर भी नहीं सकते यार बहुत ठंड होती है. You know that. By the way, where are you from, Pakistan? Which part? Karachi, Lahore, or somewhere else? So we are about to reach Jaipur. Where we will start our descent, guys, and then we can do our approach fully. Next, how much speed we want to land? This is the effort speed. This is the approach speed. Lahore, wow. Kendra and Jane Lahore ni vekya ne kuch ni vekya. So you see, this one is still empty. Now we are going to send these speeds here. So one nine one sixteen in process. Sending complete. So now, these speeds will appear here once we are coming into land and approach. And these are the limitations of the runway. So I think we are good with that. Legs we are good. And then I did. Let's go to okay. one sixty-five nautical miles away. What's your GPU? But I use a 2060 RTX 2060. So we are like 31 nautical miles away from Ripon now, where we will start our descent. And 162 nautical miles away from the airport, which is like somewhere over there, I believe. Sleep one pump. Thank you for the subscribe on YouTube, brother. Earlier, I was told that I should have subscribed. Tell me, brother, that you have subscribed, brother. I would have thanked you. You have just said that I should have subscribed. Where are you landing? I am landing at Oslo, Gardermoen, Norway. Me, yeah. Not way, brother. So, guys, we crossed 150 subscribers on YouTube as well. We are on 150. One now. Hello. Sorry, I got a call. Sorry, I had a call. 
we are on 150 Lahore to New Delhi you got me brother because I was exploring New Delhi today I'm gonna fly to New Delhi tomorrow because I have some new updates for New Delhi we can surely do that flight tomorrow from Lahore to New Delhi in a PIA level that sounds fair let me see is there a PIA level for that plane flight same uh, we also have to keep an eye on our descent uh, livery for you need triple seven two hundred right okay, triple seven two hundred Pakistan airlines let me check is there a livery for PIA or Seven eight seven key hai. Okay. I think is livery hai yahan par. Uh, wo bhi dekhna na ke wo comfortable hai ya nahi. Because comfortable nahi hai to that will crash. Okay. Livery to hai yahan. Two point eight rating hai. Mm, that's a problem, brother. Let me tell you problem kya hai. Okay. Main aapko show karta hu. Let me just hit my descent once, and I will show you what is the problem with that livery. Just a few seconds. Yeah, seven nautical miles per up to descent. Hai. Let me hit that and I will show you. So, legs page 12,000. We will be going now to 12,000. Airbus A320 ka bhi chakar lenge. Agar uska sahi hua, to we can do in that one because it's a problem. Hai. I will tell you what is the problem. Okay, we have hit our decimal point, so now we will be. Losing altitude so okay. we have started to lose altitude now. Yes, we are losing altitude now. Uh seven seven three hundred, sorry, seven seven three hundred yeah. Okay, Seven 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 three hundred delivery. Ye bhi hai seven seven three hundred delivery. Hmm. In me se ek delivery theek hai. Main aapko wo dikhata hoon ki problem kya hai. Just check out. Ek side of the Hello. Anji.
okay sorry i had a call okay parcel arrived i am going to pick it up but before that i am going to show you what was the problem okay display capture here you go see, uh, see out of these three this one is not compatible with this one uh, so this is the 200 we can't do that then this one is uh, also 7700 this is not compatible too but this one 777200 from pakistan airlines is compatible so i will download this one and then we can do this one tomorrow 300 that sounds good brother we can do that for you what else anyways we are now landing and let me get my vertical speed down now okay i can do that for you brother what else but give me two seconds let me pick up this parcel someone is at the door while we descend you enjoy the beautiful views
altitude. Okay guys, I'm back and we are at 12,000 right now. I'm getting close to 12,000. And Bunkers, are you still in the chat? If you are, I got a news for you. So 9,000 now. Let's descend to 5,000 now, guys. Okay, 5,000 set. Doesn't set. Let's listen to five thousand guys. Okay, now we are descending to five thousand as we head in because our previous point was this is the mess approach, guys. Okay, in case we don't do that. It is continuity after the vector. Speeds are high. 9000 at GMM45, then 5000 at Bavard. So we will be holding at 5000, which is good. already crossed the airport so we are gonna circle around the airport is like somewhere on this side suppose we will check it out we we'll see how far we are from the airport IDX program 62 nautical miles away now guys getting there close enough We crossed 8500 and now we are descending to 8000, crossed 8000 now. So at this point, turn on our barrel, and the barrel for this one is eight 
2953 is the bar of for this one guys Twenty nine fifty three. So, Baro is set as we lower him. What's the name of the market? What's the name of the market? Altitude. Altitude warnings coming up. as our speed goes 140 we get our speed at 140 now guys we need to decrease our speed to 180 i think yeah there you see speed is high I don't know what's with the speed. Why doesn't the speed remain in control? We are 5000 now. Check local tuning, so we'll be going to FMS. So landing lights are gonna come out soon. There you go. We're holding at 5000. So our speed is around 200 now. And we are gonna turn right soon for Babbitt. There you go. Flying at 5000 towards Bavard now. How far are we just. Let me check how far are we now. 
previous programs program we are 31 nautical miles away from Oslo now getting back to the legs page about is 5000 that we gotta be 4000 Is the speed to 170 now? And speed decreased to 170, and we are flying at 5000 feet now. Hello, Bobby Singh, Keso. Three thousand five hundred is where we will catch the localizers. So now going four thousand. We are just about to reach Bavard at 5000 and now we will go 4000. The best wind here. The airport is like down there. Yeah, we reached by right now going four thousand, almost four thousand now. Two thousand three hundred and seventy. From the ground and don't forget to call me show buddy just let me finish this and i will call you we got 4000 now and our next altitude as we reach sino will be this as we turn right our next altitude would be 35 so let's tune in 35 altitude. We go 35 and with that laps down to level 1. Our speeds are now 170.
There is the airport, guys. So here we are turning for Zeno. We have lined up with the runway. The flaps are at 15 degrees. And we can arm um, the local approach. So now the approach button is on, lock stop. Speed's going down. Down to one ten and waiting for the localizers to get caught. Autopilot. But it is off. Gears down. Windy flaps down to level two. the runway now guys as you can see it's windy here guys too much windy The speed is around 110, 120. Here's the route, guys. We are landing manually for now. Two reds and two whites, as we can see from a distance. So we are good on height, we are good on speed.
Turn back is visible. Bit left to the runway, but we are sure we can line up well. I wonder to continue. There we go. One right, so not too low, but we are okay. Two reds now as we close in. Fifty clearing out. Altitude. And we landed beautifully, guys. Bit roll to the left side. But all in all, a beautiful landing. We are on the ground now. So let's call it the ground controls. But it is a bit off to the left. Parkings. That's only the click clearance. So now we can go to the parking, guys. There is that ramp 7171L. So as we landed, okay. landing lights can come off. Oh, gonna crash! I think we face such a tremendous, tremendous amount of that one. Did you saw that, guys? That was really, really intense. Just froze up for a second there. Yeah? अरे कॉल कल कल ऑनलाइन था वो पहले ऑफ हो गया अब से थोड़ी देर पहले वो था ऑनलाइन <laughs> मैं वही मैं भी आया मैंने देखा कल ऑनलाइन ही नहीं है वो ऑफलाइन हो गया था तब मैं कह रही यार तिट्टी बोल रही हूँ क्या भेज दिया ऑनलाइन था वो ऑफलाइन हुआ उससे थोड़ी देर पहले ऐसा नहीं है कि वो ऑनलाइन नहीं था अरे ऐसा नहीं बोलते यार सही में वो ऑनलाइन था वो उसे थोड़ी देर पहले आपने किया था उसको फोन करके पूछ दो बस अगर यकीन नहीं होता तो मेरी बात का जी टी कह रहा था वो कल भी सॉरी चल भी ठीक है 
इंफॉर्मेटिव हो रहे हो आप चलाक हो रहे हो आप पता चल रहा है आपको मैं क्या बोलने वाला हूँ अगली बार गुड गुड आई लाइक इट वो देखो मेरा प्लेन खड़ा है सामने दैट इज माई लिवरी गाइज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू लेट्स पाक इट अप यू and then shut down the engine and then i will call mike okay they will on with this as abhi bhi call online hai wait main nahi baat tha mere ko to subah se dikha nahi wo online just a second हाँ अभी ऑनलाइन है <laughs> आता हूँ मैं वहाँ मेरा ये खत्म हो गया है सो गाइस दिस इज ऑल फ्रॉम अस टुडे आई मीन फ्रॉम मी सो आई एम गोना लर्न ऑफ दिस सेफ्टी लाइट्स मैं झूठ नहीं बोला टर्निंग ऑफ दिस पायरेट हिट्स ओके एंड देन द एवियोनिक्स कैन गो ऑफ turning off climate control turning off the emergency lights and the display panel standby display panel the generators can go off that's why the main generator was off and last but not the least turning off the engines there you go we started with the left side engine it's going to turn off soon and before we turn on the right side engine we surely want to do this get up from our seats look back thank our passengers up who were on the flight today hey guys can you let me in hello hey why is there a barrier here they said no you can come in there is already someone in the back seat You can do it first. But they have locked the harness so well. Pilot, can we get out? I, I am trying to open the door, but they are not letting me open the door. Look how they have. Oh, this one, hello, door. There should be a door here. Ah, uh, guys! I don't think it's possible for me to open the door. They have trapped me inside. <laughs> Anyways, shutting down engine number two, and that's it. Okay, and the last but not the least, turning off the battery. There you go, guys. That's the full flight for me. Blow it, and <laughs> you'll get the. <laughs> that's the only way it looks mike so i'm going to call you in 10 minutes mike and you know thank you for the follow and thank you for the stars tony and bunkers maka and all and mike in the start thank you so much guys i will see you guys tomorrow right now i'm signing off on youtube before i do on facebook and i will be coming to my discord server in a while okay do you buddy just so we can do this ओके गेटिंग डाउन माय यूट्यूब नाउ तृप्ति मैं आता हूँ उसकी स्ट्रीम पे कम भाई मिलते हैं एंड थैंक यू गाइस फॉर द 16 लाइक्स ऑन यूट्यूब सी यू सम अदर टाइम बाय